Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here. Today we're playing an indie game made in Unity. It's on Itch.io and it's called Empty Vessel, as it says right there, and obviously on the title of this video. You knew that anyway. Um, so this one, well, I kind of, um, I am certain what to expect. Um, just looking at the screenshots, those of you who have been using Unity for quite a while may recognize a lot of this um, from the Asset Store. I'm not sure how it's going to play out because the although it's called Empty Vessel, the actual files themselves reference zombie FPS. So we'll see. Uh, leave a link in the description below for you to have a go yourself if you want to. Uh, it says the world has been overrun by zombies for an unknown reason. You come back to life without being affected. As you search for answers, you are faced with danger at every corner. Look for notes left behind by previous survivors and scavenge for supplies as you traverse a mysterious abandoned city. Okay, I'm just going to click play. So, this, um, this game is rather slow. Is it doing anything? Oh, something's happening. Okay. Object is find a weapon and a flashlight. Where am I? How am I alive? The last thing I remember was the accident. Okay, I'm assuming Waz to move. Uh, I have ammo, but no, no weapon. I can run. Uh, okay. It's night time. It's a bit bright for night time, but not to worry. I really yeah. okay. I can't go that way. So I've got to find a weapon and a flashlight. So maybe there is something somewhere in here. What's all this floating around? Oh, hang on. What's this? If you are reading this, then you're one of the few survivors left in this world. I know times can be tough, so I left this gun and flashlight for anyone who might. Okay. All right. Well. Look. Right. Okay, so found them. So I'm gonna kind of go off on my own now, maybe. Um, hmm. That way. There's not a lot going on, really, is there? Okay, I can't. Don't think I can. Hmm. Not exactly seeing a lot to do here. There is a cave. Should I go in the cave? I'm going to go in the cave. Okay, now it's suddenly daytime. It's suddenly daytime. Not what's going on. This must be the place the note meant. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, and he just disappeared. Yep, so that's the zombie from the asset store. Uh, I've used it in a couple of my tutorials. You may have already seen it. And I believe I have reviewed this uh, asset, which is the world. It's a very common asset. It's a very good asset as well, I I'll add. Very nice. Should I go in the house? I'm gonna. There is a zombie in there. I can see him. I'm gonna go in and shoot him. Ah? Huh? Okay. So it's a little bit broken. <laughs> I was shooting him and nothing happened. So I think my initial um, opinion of this is that 
it could be construed as something Jim Sterling uh, coined, and that is an asset flip. Um, now, the thing with calling things asset flips is it's not always necessarily true, uh, because this isn't what the actual asset is in the asset store. Some work has obviously gone into this to actually, you know, bring in other assets to actually make some kind of gameplay. So it's not necessarily just an asset flip. Um, but when you're left looking at assets that you can get, it, it kind of is a bit disheartening. So far, it seems okay. You know, there is something to the game. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing because it, it says find the church, find all seven notes, scavenge for supplies. There's no indication of where any of this could be because this asset, the flooded grounds asset, is. So, hmm. it is a nice asset though, and I am 100% sure I've reviewed this asset. So, if you are the developer of this, um, some advice would be, you it's good for starters. I'm assuming that you're kind of learning Unity a little bit and it is a great engine. Try not to take entire assets and use them as the base. The best thing to do if you were to use this uh, environment is take bits and pieces from it and construct your own world. I think if you did that you'd probably feel a bit more... Uh, what's the word to use? A bit more enthused about the design because you've created it yourself using assets. So, yeah, like I was saying, uh, you can tell that effort has gone into this. It's not just a simple asset flip. But, yeah, if it's a prototype, keep going, man. Keep keep working on it. So what I usually do is when I get confused and lost, I try to break things. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to see how far I can get to the edge of the earth. And I think we may have found <laughs> the edge of the earth. And there we go. Oops. <laughs> okay, well... See, a lot of these games are just a case of... It's just a test for the developer. And in this case, yeah. It's always good to use these assets and test out what you can do. And then port that into a great big world, a great big game. You know, whatever you need it to be. But yeah. It's not too bad. It's okay. Like I say, it's not a full-on asset flip because I think it'd be too harsh to call it an asset flip because this is clearly a case of the developer trying to find their way around, create things, and obviously work has gone into this to some extent. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to have a go. Feel free to fall off the edge of the earth as I have done right here. And I'm falling so much now that I'm shaking. Uh, give a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't, but let me know in the comments below why you didn't like it. And I'm going to leave this for a minute before I say my goodbye and just see how shaky this gets. Yeah, it's getting very shaky. I'm just curious to see. So what I might do is just sit back you can finish this video now so there won't be any more after this i'm just gonna sit there with some random stuff now just to see this shaking like hell and yeah i've been jimmy vegas this has been empty vessel guys thank you very much for watching look how fast it's falling I wonder what it would be like if you fell down a bottomless pit. I wonder if that would really happen.
Um, now, am I rotating or is the skybox rotating? I can't wear that out. Must be the skybox. Must be. <laughs> Looks stupid now. <laughs> Hmm. Well, we can fall infinitely, so... Still watching at this point, anybody? I'd be quite surprised. Still going. Reading the comments on this on uh, Itchio, and it's uh, a lot of people don't can't get it started. I mean, seriously, are you still watching this? Really? Really? If you're still sat here watching this, do yourself a favour, turn this video off and go and make a game and then link me to that game when it's on itch.io so I can play it about as crazy as <laughs> okay yeah hmm. well at least is this is my last game for May an interesting month. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs>